it's not my recipe today, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I've got the recipe out of the book. I know what I'm doing, so hopefully it's gonna be right. So, a <laughs> bit nervous. Um, Matt's gonna join us a little bit later on in the show and uh, check what I've done is right and uh, continue making the dish. Um, so it's all about kingfish today. We're doing a marinated kingfish. We've got watercress, beetroot, avocado, and some rye crisp bread. It's gonna be beautiful, really simple, summery dish. So I've got this beautiful kingfish line here. So it's just been trimmed. Any bones have been removed, so it's just the line. And we're gonna cure that. So basically we're gonna cure it, it's gonna firm up the flesh and it's gonna give some seasoning to the flesh. So I've got some salt here, some sugar, a little bit of lemon zest and some dill as well. It's a great herb. Uh, not many people sort of use it anymore. You don't really see it around. It's really old school herb, but it's beautiful, especially with kingfish and fish. So I'm just gonna chop that up. And then you're gonna mix all this marinade up and we're gonna coat the whole fish. So it looks a bit excessive because um, there's quite a lot of salt and sugar there, but we're gonna just do it for four hours in the fridge, and, and that's just gonna firm the fish up. So, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on the base, and then pop the fish on it, and then we're just gonna cover it with the rest of it, and it will be nicely seasoned, it will not be salty. I know what you're thinking there. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for four hours. We're gonna come back, we're gonna finish the recipe with Matt and uh, back over to you guys. Now though, we are gonna head over to Jason and Mark in the Mastercraft kitchen with the world's best sandwich maker. Yeah, thank you Mel. So um, Mark and I are joined in the kitchen by Matt Wilkinson, um, quite rightly, um, the artist behind the world's best sandwich and also known to worship veggies. So first of all, before we get to worshipping veggies, <laughs> as our mums have always told us we should all do, um, tell me about the world's best sandwich. What was that? Um, well, it's just a different take on a... Uh, well, it was a sandwich. It was, it was a roast chicken sandwich that had jalapeno mayonnaise through it, the juice from the jalapeno and stuffing in a like a... You know, like an English-style BAP sandwich. Oh, BAP, yeah. Uh, now you're talking. I, I served it with a beer. <laughs> I actually served it with a beer. You know, like Coronas, when they put lime in the yes, Coronas? Yes, yes, yes. Well, I, I did a beer with a lime foam. Right, oh, oh, goodness. And stuffing, yeah. you got me with stuffing. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially how you say stuffing. <laughs> stuffing, that's it, stuffing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I might need a translator <laughs> in the kitchen here, to be honest today. Um, but tell us a wee bit about, uh, yeah, you worship vegetables. Now, how did this come about? Um, <laughs> it, it's quite simple. It's about, um, you know, New Zealand's amazing for uh, raw produce. Um, I look at food of whatever's in season is what I cook. So uh, part of restaurant month, um, did a dinner at Adets. Um, and um, for that, we just looked at what's around us, what's in season in New Zealand, and I look at vegetables um, as that to see what's in season. It's, it's what's readily available. Okay, sweet. Now, you've got the book there. Obviously, it's very good for if you're worshipping veggies because it's about salad dressings, but this is something now that Mark's doing from your book. Um, yeah, what this... else do we need to do to get this to the plate? So this is Matt's recipe, so um, hopefully I've done it right. So I've cured, cured your fish, Chef. Cured the kingfish. Yeah, so that's all curing. So this has been four hours now, so you can feel it now. It's just firmed up, but we're going to have a beautiful flavour. It's firmed up. That is a firm fish. <laughs> I, mean, I know I'm a firm fish. Yeah. And then Mark's got some dodgy cutting of beetroot, but I didn't know that was in the recipe. But the um... no, no, we got some recipe. It's your recipe, Matt. Right, so we're just going to dice some beetroot, and then we're just going to cook it just in some salted water. Just for it. So this is going to be a garnish, isn't it? Yeah. So the idea of it is like you can cure any fish this way. So it's about four hours, and putting anything in with salt, sugar, lemon, any herbs that you've got lying around. Um, like there's amazing New Zealand uh, blue cod. Mm -hmm. uh, this one we use kingfish, and then it's just that that classic thing that go with um, cured um, fishes or meats: avocado, toasted rye bread, um, apple, capers, sour cream, capers, and beetroot. I must say, when Mark mentioned today that this was the thing he was going to be doing, several mouths started watering on set here today. Everyone at the cafe is like, oh, so um, when will it be ready? <laughs> Four hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, five. five. Two chefs in the kitchen. <laughs> right, so your avocado, so here's a tip for you. So just cut it in half, pull it apart, get the tip of your knife, or the end of your knife, jab it into the stone, give it a twist, pull it out. That's how you get the stone out. Ooh. As long as it's right. And how so do you, you know get, it's right. How do you get the flesh out? Uh, spoon, scoop it. Look at that. Is that right? <laughs> is that yeah. There's like, a, there's like an, an actual <laughs> lesson going on right here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, should we cook the beetroot? Yeah, we'll put the beetroot on it. Pray help, yeah. I love that. How's it going to show? Should, should we cook the beetroot? <laughs> Please don't look at me because uh, yeah, I think we saw yesterday I'm not really, I'm not really a Michelin starred chef, Matt. Um, yeah, we saw that, yeah. yeah. What do you like, cooking? I love cooking. I'm not very good at it, but I love Just it. Can't cook. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 enough about that. But okay, when you're putting a, a meat on a skewer, it's not a bad thing to just put one piece of meat on the skewer and just leave it, right? 
Yeah, just you can marinate it. Sure, marinate it. Sounds good. It yep. was marinated, yep. and it was the portion. It was one. It was the portion. <laughs> one, yeah, yeah. So tell us about Restaurant Month as well. So you're here, obviously, for this as well. Yeah. So flown in from Melbourne um, for Restaurant Month, mm -hmm. um, Heart of the Sea. Um, Ama amazing month. Uh, from what I read, you've got some stunning chefs coming over. Obviously, the good looking myself. Um, but you've got a, a wonderful lady, Nancy Silverton, over in a few weeks. Um, and it's just a great thing for restaurants and, and for the, the dining public to, to get amongst. And different things that restaurants wouldn't we always be doing and some special offers. Um, and it's fascinating. Uh, an excellent month. Sure. And what are you up to now, Mark? Right, so we're just going to make some rye crisps. So just a little bit of olive oil in there, a little bit of salt and pepper. We're going to bake them in the oven for about, you know, 10, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, yep. low temperature, so it just sort of goes nice and crispy and then we'll crumble it over the final dish. And that was just a bit of avocado with some uh, creme fraiche, just blended, a little bit of lemon juice and salt, uh, and that's gonna make a nice cream for the dish after. And we're just gonna start getting all these components ready and then we're gonna build the dish later. It's gonna be beautiful. It goes in a great sandwich as well. You'd know. Yeah. This, would make a, this, would, <laughs> this would actually make a good sandwich. <laughs> Be a sandwich maker in the whole wide world, yeah. God, I, love, I love the way it's stuck. We're going to build the dish. Sounds amazing. Right, looking forward to this. Thank you so much, Mark and Matt. And Matt Wilkinson is in Auckland for the Chef Dining Series, held every Wednesday evening in August as part of the Restaurant Month. Check out the website for the more details. Really looking forward to toasting Mark and Matt's. Actually, more Matt's, really, isn't it? Let's be honest. <laughs> well, it's all Matt's, really. Cured Kingfish, and we'll be back with that very, very soon. So do not go away. Welcome back to the cafe. Okay, now over to Mark, who's with Chef Matt Wilkinson in the Mastercraft Kitchen to finish up that amazing cured kingfish with rye and beetroot. Oh, I forgot beetroot. Oh, oh, boys. It's, look, it's looking pretty good, isn't it? I almost forgot the beetroot. <laughs> I love beetroot. You've got to put that in. That's it. Look at that. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? So we've got everything in there avocado, fish, rye bread. Be true, apple. Well, bring it over and I'll tell you. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, Mel gets hungry. <laughs> I get there you angry go. at this angry time. Yeah. Yeah. That looks amazing. Wow. And Matt's got a little bit of garnish here for you. Oh, yeah. Just in case you want some. <laughs> it did come in use. <laughs> we wish you all the very best with the new book, Matt. Thank you so very much. So good to have you here.